Uh, welcome back, everyone, to Ferris State basketball action from courtside here at Wink Arena. Rob Bentley and Sandy Golston with you, joined by the head coach of the Bulldogs, Kurt Westendorf. Coach, tough game here tonight. Uh, Michigan Tech got a, got off to a great start, and obviously it was uh, playing catch-up uh, from that point forward kind of for your team. Yeah, I felt like we did a nice job in the second quarter, kind of kind of stemming that tide, kind of making an ugly first half, a three-point game at halftime. You know, because we definitely didn't have any rhythm. You know, they were kind of doing a couple different things on the ball screen that we hadn't seen in a little while. So it just took us a little bit out of our, our usual pace with which we run our offense, and that led us to have a few more travels. You know, just way too many turnovers in that first half, and we just weren't able to connect, you know, the way we were a little bit better in the second half. You know, the second half wasn't a whole lot better, uh, but they did a nice job. They hit really timely shots. You know, and they're, you know, they're a quality team, too. They're sitting 11-7 and seven in the league. Every game is an absolute battle, and... You know, tip our cap to them. They made the shots when the game got close. Obviously, uh, you finally got to a stage, maybe tied at 44, where uh, you were able to tie it back up, and then they made a, a couple big plays right after that, hit some uh, key shots at the at the right time, as you called it. Yeah, I think it was, just, it was just timely offense on their part. I don't feel like our defense let us down for most of the half, but all it takes is just one little one little stretch right there. We have two possessions in a row where you're a little slow getting out of a screen to challenge a shot with a good shooter. So they did a nice job. I thought we had several opportunities, not just when we tied it at 44, but we had a good chance with A at the line to cut it to one. You know, she misses both, and then they hit a couple, and then all of a sudden you look up and it's seven when it, you just thought it was about to be one. You know, and then we had a great run. The crowd was into it. Our girls were into it. You know, we really thought it was about to turn the corner. Momentum was really on our side. You know, and then they, they stepped up and moved the ball, and their, their kids made the shots at the times that you need to hit the shots. I mean, they were eight for 21 from three. That's pretty darn efficient, and they did it when they had to. Obviously, they got off to a good start, led by Sarah Dax in the first half, but uh, you guys kind of slowed her down a little bit in the second half and uh, really made them uh, go to some other options uh, in the second half of the ball game. Well, we did a better job playing a little bit harder defensively on her. You know, she does a nice job of stepping out quite a bit of way to quite a bit of ways away from the basket to get her touches. So it's kind of hard for us to deny her the ball, and we're just not a post-double team team. And when she had those one-on-one -on -one opportunities, you know, we usually like our chances with those matchups, but she did a nice job. She found her angles. You know, she stepped out and hit some threes in the first half, which, you know, it's on the scouting report. She was hot the last couple games, but we just weren't quite there. Um, and that's what you have to do to beat a good team. You have to be completely clued in. You know, you can want it all you all you can talk about wanting it all you want, um, but it's about getting it done when the when the chips are down. And we we just did not get it done. I know, obviously, uh, your kids continued to fight through the finish on this one, and I know you expect them to come back uh, with a big fight on Saturday against uh, Northern Michigan with still a, a lot on the line for your team. Oh, yeah, we'll come out with a lot of vengeance. I don't know exactly what the scoreboard says is happening around the league right now, but, you know, it's, we're always going to be playing for our seniors on senior day. You know, we got three of them that it's going to be their last time playing a regular season home game here. If we want to earn another home game for GLIAC tournament, chances are that'll be on the line too. So we have a ton to play for. We just got to step up and make sure that we're mentally where we have to be and then perform. Well, Coach, thanks for the time, and uh, we'll talk to you again on Saturday. All right, thanks, Robert.